evening and welcome to the Mal Pope Show. That's an old Stevie Wonder song, I Wish, and tonight, you wish it'll come true. We've got lots of different types of music, music to suit just about every musical taste. From Brecon and the world of jazz, we have George Melly and John Chilton's Feet Warmers. From, uh, we, we have Lena Fiagby, a brand new singer-songwriter who's taking the world by storm. From Liverpool, we have orchestral maneuvers in the dark. And from Garnant, we have one of the founder members of the Velvet Underground, John Cale. But my first guest, well, she's actually taken the world by storm as well. As a percussionist, no mean feat in itself. But when you realize all the difficulties she's had to overcome, the story is truly miraculous. Will you please welcome Evelyn Glennie. Welcome. <laughs> now, Evelyn, I've met a number of different musicians in my time. Harpists have trouble with their harps, double bass players. But, I mean, how do you move this around? Because you're all over the world, aren't you? Yeah, well, I've just carted on my back, you see, I and off I go. You. I don't believe you. No, it you. Folds, folds into so many bits. But it so when you go, to into a flight case. you go to Japan, what happens then? Well, I have one based in Japan. Oh, that's pretty oh, sure. <laughs> And what about America? The same thing there? Uh huh. At the same cost, you know, yeah. being Scottish. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, the, th the whole thing about uh, the music and, and the music, when did it start for you? Because obviously you, you had a problem with, with deafness. There's no getting around that. But when did the music actually start meaning things to you? Well, I was actually brought up with Scottish traditional music. Right. And, um, and apart from that, there wasn't any sort of music in the household. And so I wasn't pushed into doing this. It was just out of curiosity. So even now, you know, I'm, I'm like a child. I just kind of experiment with things. And I just play how I want to play. And, and that's it. So I can't really say, well, at a particular age, you know, something happened. Yeah. I'm, I'm still exploring. percussion then, what, what, what's the first percussion instrument you can pick up? Is it a drum or a tambourine? Or do you start with something like this? Nowadays, you know, there's little 10-year-olds who've got instruments like this. Yeah. I mean, it's unbelievable. But this actually is quite standard. Really? Mm -hmm. oh, can, we, can we have a little little tonk, if that's a professional yeah, way of talking sure. about it? Oh, <laughs> I wasn't expecting this. Because it's, well, uh, let's have a go. Because they're actually quite big. Now, I noticed when you were practicing earlier on, you, you move them between your fingers as well. Yeah, I, this is quite common as well, where you just hold four mallets. Right. Um, you can even hold six mallets. Oh, well, that's showing um, off, is it? <laughs> well, uh, it's showing off that, you know, four is, is ample. I can do what I want with four. And um, so basically, I hold them with my little pinky. Right. That's all. Okay. But this is basically my own grip that you know suits the, the shape and size of my hand. So you can, you so can play chords in that case, can you? If you've yeah. got, you've got four. Well, how do you do that then? You show me. Because oh, I think well. you're probably a bit better than I am. No. Would. And it's just the same as a piano, isn't it? Just like an enormous piano. There's your middle C. Fantastic. What about works then written for this? Because obviously, orchestrally, you're known all around the world now. Um, the whole thing about being deaf has gone into the past. You're actually known for being a percussion player in your own wow. right and developed that. Are there many works for something like this? Yes, I have probably over a hundred percussion concertos and I play about 40. Gosh. So there's quite a lot. And also people are now writing for you mm -hmm. all over the yeah. world. <laughs> well, that's, that's great to know. All right then, well, you, you play on your own. That's the great thing about it. It's, um, you have the show in front of you. Well, mind you, you're, you're such a good singer. I think we should kind of maybe team up one oh, day. Oh, great. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm actually <laughs> over that. Well, in that case, perhaps it would be nice to hear you great. playing something. Now, what are you going to play? A piece called Rhythm Song by Paul Smadbeck. Ladies and gentlemen, Evelyn Glennie. <laughs> Thank you. 